I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility Stop complaining to security. I don't know what you lost, but you won't get it back by annoying us. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little ships everywhere. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. You're out there a lot, right? In space? should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting. Captain. I'm here to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. 
similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But on the contrary, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but... What are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. What is it? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, 
Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. When's the last time you went up to Talk to you later. I haven't needed to go up there in a bit. I have met your service, Captain. Water doesn't contain anything harmful. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Sir. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Until later.
flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the gnat. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. A diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. Envoys haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law's the law, sir. And that one's still on. Well, that was fun. Now what?
United Colonies space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. You are clear to land at Sidonia. That would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Five. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape.
Watch out for the robots. They're surprisingly sneaky. Sorry. What do you mean there's no work? Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a miner. Or at least don't go to the mine to keep it happy. Look at this place. I can't. <laughs> Imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. This is bullshit! I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out of the middle? Get a lot of new things. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around it. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I got problems. What do you say? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? I'd like to think so. Yeah, I'll get your point. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, singing songs. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do.
After you, Captain. Thank you. 
emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Well, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers.
two steps in, and we're already looking at your corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Don't leave any of that behind.
people searching them make it quick. Yes. 